Hey everybody, welcome back to my 30 Days to Die series. It is the morning of day five, and as you can see, we've done a little bit of work on this attic. Uh, we've got the gun safe now open. We'll have a look at that this morning. I haven't had a look at the gun store box or the working stiff box. We'll have a look at that this morning. Um, got a campfire down, made some food last night. Um, so we do have a bit here. Got some yucca juice and stuff, and made some more arrows. You can see I've cleared out the attic, and what I've done over here is I've made this all caged in now so if for whatever reason zombies do break in we can just stand up here and shoot down at them. I'm gonna have to reinforce some of the walls here so they don't destroy them but got a nice little metal trap door here which is great and then if for whatever reason we need to bail out of here we got another door over here on the side which we can bail out of really quick plus we can come out here and shoot zombies too if we have to but this is our way in and out right now our way out anyway here in zombies Oh, there's somebody over there. I heard somebody walk by last night. What are you up to? We have to go in there and check out what's going on in there today. I'm fearing the worst. I don't think they're just over there all quiet. I think that they've been uh, taken by zombies. It's been so quiet. I've heard no people, no nothing. No talking, there's been no smoke, no campfires. I mean, they are... Oh. They're uh, probably trying to stay quiet, but I don't think there's anybody in there. The trader pretty much confirmed it. Come on, get up. Let's clear out the zombies around the trader here first. Oh, somebody's over here not having a good time. Oh, it's you. What's up, buddy? Oh! Where the hell did I end up? Oh. I got too close to the traitor, that's why. You get teleported when that happens. I guess if you try and get right up against the wall, it teleports you elsewhere? Let's see if that works. Apparently not there. Oh, I hear another zombie. I love the fact that they get caught up in the barbed wire out here. And they can't destroy the barbed wire, so they just kind of, like, get stuck on it. Yeah, it's Mo. Oh, maybe it was a wandering horde I heard. Could very well have been a wandering horde. See? So, I'm thinking that we're going to go clear that camp. I'm going to get rid of these zombies first. We'll go clear the camp, and then we'll start taking some quests. You see if we can get things back in order around here. If a new society is going to at least relatively thrive, we're going to have to make sure we get some supplies, we clear out zombies and, and POIs that they need to be cleared out from. Oh, for Christ's sake, where am I? I'm on the other side of the building again. Anyway, should have done this with a bow, would have been much easier. At least you walk back on the barbed wire. There we go. Got a little bit of XP for that. All right. There's also this camp here that we need to go and clear out. Looks like there's another one down there. I know there's a trader down the road there. We'll have to check out what he's got today. It is day five, so they haven't restocked yet. They restock on day seven, I think. And this is the big building we need to check out. Did I bring frames with me? I did. Good. We're going to need those. It's a good thing we can carry a lot of shiz. Now, this door is locked. I don't want to break it down. Yeah, I'm hearing zombies already. It's confirmed the worst, guys. Yeah. How do we want to tackle this? Oh, it's Mo, of course. If anybody, it's going to be freaking Mo. Oh, the lag. I've been getting these nasty lag spikes in Seven Days to Die lately. I haven't installed anything new in it, so it's just a base game. So, I don't know, I may have to reinstall. They're just nasty lag spikes. Look at you. Look at this guy. He's so cute. Okay. Um, yeah, of course. Fire zombies. 
I don't know if they if he heard me or if he's working his way in or what it is. Now he's crawling, it makes it harder to hit him. Do I just leave him? No, nah, let's go finish this guy off, and then we'll come back. Yeah, I hear ya. I hear ya. You have my arrow, you do. Yeah, it's generous of you. Alright, well, at least they've got a water tower. Good place to get some water. I know I don't feel good about this. Get some arrows back here. I hear a pig too. Oh, oh Jesus Christ. Looks like they're all dead. There's glass there. I keep our eyes open here. Ah, oh, more glass, really. Oh Christ, another fire zombie. They're rolling in. Oh, another piece of glass, of course. These guys can take the damage, that's for sure. Is he... he's stuck. He's not coming. There we go. Let's go kill this guy too. I understand now why, uh... This... Place didn't succeed. There's so many zombies here. You know what it is? Is they're probably all drawn to the the living around here. Ah, somebody's in there making angry noises now. Another house. It's dead. Okay. Well. Deal with these guys out here first. Oh, great. Nice that I wasted my power attack on the uh, grass there. Alright, we don't need that on us. Let's go kill this guy over here. Well, there's a few more over here. Let's clear out the area. We're going to need to try and gather some resources today. I don't know if we'll get to a uh, quest today. We might depending on how well we do with the zombies. Can't be that many more around here. Can't be that many more. Okay. Did that guy break out of there? Don't hear him anymore. We'll get to that building soon enough. All right, let's get back inside here. We got some zombies. To oh, for Christ's sake. Wake them all up. Have a seat. There you go. Sneak in, doing my utmost best to make as much noise as possible. Okay, we got some... Sleepers. Cheapest creepers. You're down. Let's clear the bottom level first. So when we go up, we don't have to worry about people coming up out first behind. From behind. Okay, you're down. Anybody in here? Somebody's up there. They heard me sneaking. Yeah, somebody's got good ears. Oh. Center mass shot, sure. Come on, stand up. There you go. See if we can kill as many as we can here. 
before that guy comes down. So he doesn't wake anybody else up. These walls seem intact, so they must have got infected from inside. I don't know. I mean, like I said, all it takes is one zombie bite. And someone not telling anybody. That guy's gone quiet now. What are they beating on? No idea what they're beating on over there. Okay, let's go in here. Simply because it's open. Alright, got a sleeper. Okay, that's this what? Well, yeah, it looks like they're all getting up now. Getting better at targeting the heads when they're getting up. Well, they're all waking up. Whenever it goes quiet on one side. Somebody, oh! Where the hell did you go? Oh, you weren't killed. Oh no, you were. Where'd you come from? Somebody's up there too. You must have come up with that guy and I never saw you. Ah, oh, now we got guys outside. Alright, let's deal with the guys outside first. A little bit of a nerd pull. Yeah. These villagers, unless they were well armed, ooh, wouldn't have stood a chance. Thought I heard somebody else over here. Yep, there you are. Deal with you first. Come on, get up. There you go. Oh, oh, there you are. Okay, let's get back in there before they decide to wreck all the walls. I'm right here, guys. I'm coming for you. They're all awake. Oh, Christ, a wandering horde. I guess they heard the fresh meat was in town. Hey, is that what you heard? Well, you know what? This fresh meat ain't gonna be so easy to kill. Oh, I gotta not miss those pad. Those power attacks. I gotta eat something. Let's get these guys down. Use one of these two. And we'll use a bandage. I hear ya. Gotta get rid of these guys first. There's more out here than there is in there. That I can tell anyway. Come on, Mo, just go down. Thank you. Oh, nice. That's basically a free kill. Die, nice. This guy should almost be done. Well, that's right, Big Mommy. Hit him. Tell him to move faster. Come on, headshot. Not quite. Okay, that problem solved. <sighs> Nobody said surviving the apocalypse was going to be easy. There you are. There's a couple of you in here still, eh? I don't want to waste my... I don't want to use a power attack and waste my stamina if I'm going to have more guys on me. It sounds like there's a lot of guys. Oh, yeah, there's three more.
Okay. What a belly full of bacon and eggs will do, eh, guys? Let's just go up here and get you. I got a feeling we've got most of them already. Alright, you're down. I think that building is clear. Oh, we got a still. It's broken. Some pill cases. We're going to check all this stuff later. Uh, they broke out of that place. So that's this building. Let's check the downstairs. Just to make sure we got everything clear here. Check the corners. Check behind you. Clear. Check this corner. Check the tower. Leave not a one zombie if we can. Okay, perfect. Is this... Oh, it's a little firing nest. Nice. Might work good on a Horde Knight. I haven't decided if we're going to spend the 30-day Horde Knight in this base or not. They would... The way this base is right now, they would just completely ruin it. Alright, what do we got in here? Shamway boxes. I'm pretty sure we're clear, but we're just going to make sure. Okay, the downstairs is clear. There is no upstairs. Check behind here. That tower is clear because we were up there already. This looks pretty clear. That's just trash. Oh, locked door. Come on. And it's a toilet. Okay, she broke down through here. Okay, so that's that building clear. Now it's just the upstairs here, which I think probably is clear. Yeah, it looks like they smashed out of there. That's just outside. I don't think there's anybody on the roof. They'd have come down by now. Ooh. Nobody up there. We might want to make this our, uh, well... Our uh, base, the gun store, because it's got the concrete walls here as a base. So it's reinforced concrete at the bottom. So if we fix this so that they can't get up, then we can just slowly build out from here. But I think what we need to do is f find a way to reinforce these walls a bit more, because I don't think these are going to hold for very long against zombies. Like if we get a wandering horde that comes straight to the wall, they'll smash through without a problem. Unfortunately, that wasn't what happened to the people here, though. Oh, yeah, we never did check up here. I think we're probably fine. What's in here? It's an empty room. Okay. Well, let's start looting. Let's start at the bottom first, uh, which is just over here, I think. Okay, nothing in there. Rule number one, man, don't leave anything on the ground. My biggest rule, everything goes up at least one floor. Oh, cabinet. Well, at least we got lots of bottles of water. Oh yeah, the one thing I never did check was if this is full of water. But we probably have to break through the sides to do that, so I'm going to leave that alone. Now let's check the behind here. Nothing. Toilet. Nothing. Upstairs was empty. Uh, let's check the garbage and trash. We're going to need to clear a lot of this out. I hate these pieces of metal sheeting because it takes up the whole block and you can't put anything there. Well, it's a nice extra reinforcement. It allows you to walk past it. It's like, it just blocks everything up. None of these are cabinets, right? Nope. Okay, old sink. Yeah, some cooking pots. Okay, nice. We can knock this thing out. This is open with mines. Nice. We'll have to break into that another time, but we'll leave that in there. It's nice that it's relatively secure. Okay, let's check you. Nothing. Uh, electrical parts, okay. Gonna need those at some point. Uh, that's it for that. What do we got here? Some water. Water's always welcome. In the apocalypse. Drinkable water, that is. Some more water. The more glass jars we get early on, the better. Nice. 
Okay. Smash into these. Then what we'll do is we'll go back home. We'll check in what's check um, out what's in our boxes at home. Um, I'll probably break into that safe tonight. The one that's over in the uh, reinforced concrete building. We're going to need to move everything over here, I think, if this is going to be our base. We're going to need to do some upgrades first. All right, check that trash. Okay, do we check? We never did check out what was in here. No cabinets. Okay, come on. Give me some beakers here. I'm hoping to get some beakers from the quest line, too. Splints are always nice. Okay. There was nothing upstairs in that one. I think we're going to go over to that reinforced building. That'll be our home. It's got a nice little... Um, What's it called? Uh, campfire and everything ab above already. We don't have to make one. Okay, well, we didn't get a whole lot here. The last thing we really need to check is that safe. Let's fix this. A little bit of that. I don't think we can fix these, can we? Yeah, we can. Okay, cool. At least we've got a couple of nice high vantage points to be able to see outside. That just means the zombies can see us too, though. Okay, let's take out... How are we going to do this here? Let's put the stuff away in here first. Oh, we got lockers. Yeah, a little bit of clothes. A toilet. Nothing. Chair out here. That's it. Actually, you know what? Let's just do this. We got one of these things we can throw in here for now. Uh, let's scrap these. Scrap these. Uh, and let's just throw a few things in here for now. I'm going to work try and work really hard in this series to try and maintain um, a sense of actually let's leave the sham in here uh, hominess um, sort of the end of towards the end of my last series at the end of 30 days I started making improvements to the home but I'm going to start um, you know doing painting and things like that trying to make this place actually look half decent as we go along so I'll be painting the walls painting the roofs Painting the floors, like once we get things up, upgraded and updated, we'll just paint stuff, make it look half decent, and then maybe we'll camo the whole base from the outside. I don't know, we'll figure something out, but we'll make it look cool, and then probably around day 25, we're going to have to like, oh, there's a workbench over there, probably going to have to like um, work on a horde base, and I've already got a pretty good idea of what I want to try for that, uh, it was what I was going to do in my other series, which I'm not sure if I'll continue right now, but we'll see. Um... All right, let's did we check these. We did not. Okay, I'm gonna knock these stairs out real quick. All right, then we're just gonna drop a ladder in here, like so, so we can get up and down. And we'll probably need a hatch. Let's make a hatch real quick. Uh, just a wood hatch for now. You can always update it. Get one of those going. Nice. And just put it like that. So. This should offer us a little bit of protection if they manage to break inside. Right, they can't get up here in any other way. We'll, I mean, we'll upgrade all this at some point, but with this uh, reinforced concrete here um, as our center base, it should provide a half decent amount of support. I don't think they'll be taking this down anytime soon. So uh, let's go back, drop some stuff. Actually, maybe we'll pick up the stuff from the other house. I'm gonna go open the uh, safe and the boxes now. We'll check out and see what we got. Hopefully we get something good. We can go to Trader Joel's. Maybe we can trade some stuff. And since it's only 1230, if we move everything over to the new house, this could be a nice backup place if we have to retreat somewhere. Um, we already got everything out of here, right? Yep. Yeah. Alright, let's get up here. And we're going to grab... That's a lot of stuff to take with us. Alright, see what we got in the gun safe? Yeah, I'm on a composite bow. Composite bow is a bit better than the one we already have, so we'll probably uh, take that. Oh, there's our shotgun we wanted. And working stiffs, frames. Man, we got ripped off. All right. Um, I already started accumulating stuff. You know what? Maybe we'll stay here while we work on the other base. I think maybe that's what we do. We'll work on it, the other one, and make sure it's safe and everything. This place is pretty safe right now, so let's just drop some stuff in here. The compound bow we have is okay for now. Actually, I'm going to sell the steel jacketed ammo. Crossbow bolts can go in here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. What are we wearing? We already got a press boy cap on. 
Maybe we just sell that. We won't get much for it, but we'll sell it. And we'll sell these two. And I don't think there's anything else we want to sell. Plastic plating. Light armor rating 2. I don't think this can go actually in our... I think our armor is level 1. If I'm not mistaken. This is level 2. Can we get... We got improved fittings in it already. Um, that's fine. We're not in dire straits at the moment where we need to have that kind of stuff. So, alright, we need... What do we need here for... We need oil. We need plastic. It's a big thing. Did I leave the plastic at the other place? I think I did. Yeah, we need to get some plastic, so we'll have to find some, some of that around. We can get some off broken cars, window blinds, things like that. Um, just wanted to make that bicycle as fast as we can here. So let's just close this up. I don't think anything will get in here at night, but let's go visit the trader, sell a couple things. Um, and see if he's got any close by quests. I don't have any materials to really start fortifying that base. Um, but that's, I think, where our land claim block will hit, is that place there somewhere. Probably one of the four corners. I'm not sure which one yet, because I want to maximize the area that's going to be protected by it. What do you see? Let's see what you got for your inventory. We're going to sell all this ammo. Not very much, but we'll sell it. And we'll sell this. Alright, so we got a bit of coin. I should have put these in the other place, but what else? What do we got here? Thank you, God, sir. got any jobs close by, buddy? Nothing close by, huh? Alright, let's go see if one of the other traders has got a close by job. We haven't been to the visit them yet. Let's go down to the one down this way first. And we'll hit up some bird's nests and wood along the way. Okay, here's the car we can take apart. Let's do that. I don't think we'll get any oil or plastic out of this wrecked beast, but... We'll take it apart. Okay, there's a bit of plastic. Not much. Window blinds. That's what we really need. I think we got enough pipes, though. There's some more mechanical parts. That was the other thing we needed was mechanical parts. Another car up here, too. Good. There, I can't even hit it. Yeah, this place is lousy with zombies. Not good. Not good. Look out, Joe. Let me go visit your buddy Mo. Who's too slow. Oh! Get up. Well, thank you. Well, thank you very much. Okay, we're going to wrench this. There's most likely birds in there. There's a deer. Here, another zombie, too. Got to take that when we can. Let's clear this up. There's the trader. Now, where's that damn zombie? Hey, noisy. Come over here. I took your leg off. Damn it. Oh. There's you. I thought I saw another one over there, too. Sorry, I didn't mean to take your leg off. I wanted you to walk over to me to die. Oh, now it sucks to be you. Oh. Juicy. Okay, let's, uh, we bring our shiv. Of course not. Why would I do that? That would just be me having to make sense doing stuff here. There we go. I think I was going to make a new one, and I just never did. Now that we can do level 3 stuff. Okay, yummy. We'll check you on the way back. Okay, we got another house here. I don't like this tree, though. Ooh, cornfield. Let's take this tree down. 
It's in a really bad spot. Okay. With this tree gone, I feel a lot safer. It's not like... Like, early game, you don't really have to worry that much about it. Because the zombies are pretty slow. But later game, you'll run into a problem there. Alright, what do we got working here? Chemistry station is destroyed. Meh. What do we got back here? Nothing. Oh. Some trash. Okay, I'll take that. What do we got here? Ooh, it's a little cold. Yeah, see, we're in the cold biome now. We are wet, too. Cold and wet, a bad combination. Take it from somebody who lives in Canada. Okay, we got a forge, which is nice. And I think the workbench is in here. Correct? Correct. And that's destroyed, too, but we got some... Uh, Forged iron, which is great because that's what we need to make a bicycle with. We need like nine, I think, to make a bike. Two for each of the tires and uh, five for the for the uh, chassis. Busy for a while. What do you got, buddy? What do you got for me? Anything good? Mushrooms. I want to try and get a farm going early. Uh, so that's one of the other things I want to start looking at getting. You got oil. I could buy oil. What about plastic? Forged steel, I should buy one of those. We don't have anything to sell them, though. We'd have to come back. Shades would be nice. Um, yeah. Grave digger. Foregrip. Okay, uh, what about... So you do have oil. I could buy... Well, that's 200. I'm uh, better off finding it off of a car. Clothing. Um, hmm. I think we'll deal with what we have right now. Uh, what else did I want to look at? Um, we might want to come by back down here and buy some forged steel. Uh, you have yeah. a great day now. Yeah, hey, you too. I got a masculine voice there, buddy. But that's just fine. All right, let's check this place out. Oh, I meant to check the quest too. Oh well, uh, let's go back and do that. Try and stay on task. Sorry guys, I, you know, once again, when you're attention deficit, it's like trying to stay on any kind of task like this is really hard. You, you, want, to, you want to do one thing and then something happens and it sparks something else. So, all right, what do you got for quests? Anything close? Holy shit, five kilometers, really? 1.1, nope, well, that was a waste of time. Sorry, I can't help you there. It's awfully far away. I'm okay for, like, up to one kilometer, but anything after that is, like, a no thank you. Alright, let's see what we got up here. Since birds have been the bane of our existence, we are going to try and smoke them early. What do we got? We got a guy here. There's a bird over there. See ya! Let's see if we can pull you outside here. I feel like I'm playing an MMO. It's like, can you pull that, pull that group over there? Pull that group over there. Is that a, oh, there we go. Screw you. These things can hear you no matter what you do. But I'm sure that iron leg armor isn't helping out. There's another one right there. I've had like up to five. Is that one there? No, must just be dirt. I've had to like five vultures in one of these camps before. Ooh. Okay. That could be it for vultures. Now the best thing to do in these camps, 
because it's always like that you know I, I gotta hand it to the uh, developers the fun pimps they do try and do some nice little surprises for you but if you know guys are gonna be in the tent like this you can just ruin their day Day ruined. All right, let's check around this side. That guy's hiding over here before. I think there's somebody over there. Either that or it's a pile of trash. All right. Um. Ooh, really? Sorry, guys. Distracted again. Cannot pass this up. I hear sleeping zombies, too. I'm gonna do this. Just so we have the ability to get our max health back. Alright, let's see who's in here. Got one. And a working stiffs crate. Nice. Oh, we got two. You sneaky people. Walking in single file. So we can't tell your numbers. This is going to be a lot more hazardous later in the game. When you get runners. Alright, that's a snow zombie. Good thing they only travel in packs of one. Oh, he's over there. Okay, I'm not worried. Oh, the still works here. Nice. And nobody. Okay, let's search this place. Feel pretty confident now being able to just walk in here. Oh, that was nice. I'm sure we'll get a... Uh, here's the rest of our coal. Just need plastic now. Might be able to get it from these uh, wooden um, or the uh, cardboard boxes. All right, finish you up. Come on, buddy. Let's go. Let's go. I gotta loot some from some. I don't know. I can't think of a word. That was just bad. Okay, let's clear you up. What do we got here? Oh, shotgun and some paint. Less paint I have to make. What have we got in here? Okay, I'm gonna... Oh, there's that cowboy hat. It's better than what we have on. Oh, yeah. Um, so, I'm gonna loot this chest. I'll show you what's in it, and then I'll wreck the rest of this base. I'm not gonna show you the... Uh... What is it with the frames? What is it with frames? Why are we getting so many damn frames? Oh, there's the oil we needed. Cool. All right, so I'm going to uh, finish looting up the shiz in here. And I will dig up all this stuff. Try and get some plastic from the cardboard boxes. And I'll see you uh, on the flip side. All right, guys. Well, this is the last bit here. A bit more cobblestone. And that is it. This place has been looted. Uh, we didn't get quite what we were hoping for. We got a little bit of plastic, but not much. We got 13. We need 40 in total to make a bicycle. But we know the still works, which is great. I know it's an alchemy station, but I like calling it a still because that's what it looks like. And whenever you find a building with a grow up, and it's like oh, it's always got one of those alchemy stations in it, so that's why I like to call it a still. It's a hooch still. All right, let's get some more birds' nests. It is getting dark. So what we're going to do, we're going to go home real quick. going to drop all this stuff off. Uh, and then I'm going to speed down to the other trader. We've got three hours still before uh, nightfall. So we have a bit of time left. Just to see if the other trader's got any quests that we can take. Um, hopefully they do. Oh. And we'll have something to do tomorrow. Uh, let's just drop off all this stuff. So I just threw all the crap in here for now. We'll sort it out when we come back. Uh, actually, you know what? Let's take our 
How many dukes do we have? We got 31. We have a few others. Yeah, we got like tons. So let's go down uh, and see what the dead traders might have some other stuff here. I don't know I really shouldn't leave the front door open, but let's head down. Um, didn't get very many resources today, so won't be able to work too much on the house. How much do we got? We got 496 wood, so it's not too bad. If we can get um, the trader down here and get back relatively quickly, we can knock up some trees here on the way back. Oh yeah, we better eat. Yeah, let's use this too. Just to keep it even. Okay, so burn forest. We're not going to be anywhere near um, short supply of coal. I should probably start using it as a uh, fuel source rather than wood. Alright, some glue. Nice. Okay. Let's hope this guy's got some quest. I know there's a gun safe in this place, like in the cor bottom corner here. So we'll have to clear that building out at some point. I just hope this guy doesn't have a quest to like clear out my building here. All right, what okay, do you got here? Fucker. You respect the shop rules, and we'll get along just fine. Ooh, Grandpa's awesome sauce, eh? Get a shot of this and get a better deal, huh? Anvil would be nice. Um, all right, BDU bottoms are good. Let's see. I just want to see again what we're wearing here. Uh, we do have BDU bottoms on hooded sweatshirt. If we can get a BDU top, great. We need some kind of boots for protection. Um. And really glasses, is that's all we need. So if we can find some good boots, maybe. Let's just check the clothing first. Um, scrap boots, steel leg armor, leather leg armor. Uh, cowboy boots, a 600 though. Forget it, we can wait. All right, advanced muffled connectors. 8% noise reduction is pretty good. What do you got in here? Weighted head, bipod. Oh, you do have forged steel. Gonna buy two. Might as well buy it off you. Saves us having to go back to the other guy. But really, that's just for fixing our wrench. We need to fix the wrench every once in a while. Uh, iron shovels. So let's just have a quick look here. Anvil might be nice, but I think we might... I don't know if we'll be able to find one. I don't want to have to make one. It's resource intensive, so... 480 is really nothing. Um, a generator bank would be nice. I'm going to buy that. Looking forward. I want to get electricity going a little earlier. Oh! You want 32 for one scrap polymer? Are you kidding me? This guy's on drugs. Cobblestone rocks. 80 for 400, sure. Uh, what else do we got? First aid kits. Do we have any concrete or anything like that? No, I'm going to buy the anvil. I'm just going to start buying stuff that we're going to need to get started with here. Uh, we don't have a tool here. Okay. Cha -ching. Thanks, buddy. All right, you got any jobs? Nothing that's close by. All right, looks like the first trader is the guy we got to go to. I'll close your door. Even though I don't really like you, I'm closing your door anyway. This is guy is the most obnoxious trader. Shut the hell up. All right, uh, we might be able to get back to the other trader in time. We got like an hour. We'll probably take a quest from him and then tomorrow we can head out early and do that quest. Like I said, I want to, you know, I like the idea of role playing series and if with the three traders here, yeah, I know it's kind of an advantage. I can pretty much buy what I want. And, but the thing is, is I got to be able to sell stuff to them too. Now, we got lucky finding that treasure map on the way here. That doesn't happen to most people. It almost never happens to me. So we did end up with a lot of coin to start, which is really going to help us out. Uh, but if I had gotten here with no coin, these traders would really be no help other than the quests, which is really what I want. Great prices. Okay, what do you have job-wise? We got a one kilometer fetch quest. I'm in a little predicament. Good yeah. Night. We can take care of that for you. you again. What do you got inventory-wise? We got a battery bank here, which we don't need. Spotlights. Might want to buy those two spotlights. Let's just see. Oh, we're going to need, we're going to need a wire tool. So let's buy that. I'm sure we'll pick one up, but we're going to buy it anyway. Uh, 
scrap polymers you guys are crazy for, for that we can easily find that tomorrow got the oil um, what else magnum that's the stuff that we sold them so not a whole lot what do you got here we're gonna buy those spotlights oh an iron pickaxe is 23 let's get that I know we'll be able to make iron tools a little later but right now we don't and that's gonna save a lot of time for us for hitting up uh, boulders and stuff so we'll take that um, the helmet light would be nice we don't have a helmet right now though um, but let's get it anyway let's buy that we got 86 left so it doesn't look like we're gonna be buying these spotlights but we might make some money tomorrow to be able to do that so we'll go ahead and do that tomorrow yeah see a trader you got an open door there man it's not good not good at all we did a hell of a lot of zombie killing today hell of a lot of zombie killing okay it's nice that we got this sawmill right here too we can make all this shiz to start with excellent okay i'm gonna break out this thing Trader Joel's is closing soon. All right, we didn't do anything to that back door. I don't know. I don't think we can get plastic out of these. Can't wrench that. Can't wrench that. Let's just break them up. Um, actually, you know what? Let's just leave them. They actually provide a little extra more reinforcement down here, so that's fine. Okay. So that will be our day today. We cleared out the, the uh, place next to us. We cleared out the camp down the road. Uh, we checked out what we had in our gun safes and stuff. Water can go in here. Birds outside. Uh, let's then take what we can take out of here. Organic stuff. I think that's pretty much it. I'll put. Let's put this stuff over there too. Uh, and then it's now closed. Uh, we're gonna keep this shovel on us. It came in handy. Uh, iron pipes. Yeah, we got 17 iron pipes. Okay, four, oh, we do had forged. Ah, I forgot we had forged steel. Oh well, not much we can do about that now, but that's good. Got a wire tool. Going to keep this on us. Helmet light can stay in here for now. We'll need that later. Polymers, we have 20 now, which isn't bad. It's enough for one wheel. Um, let's start throwing this stuff down here. So normally, what I like to do is try and keep. Um, this stuff in a sort of half decent semblance of order like so and then we're gonna grab uh, the concrete do you have anything else I should probably take the shotgun with me tomorrow I have no idea where we're going although the pistol the pistols got the burst group on it so we'll keep the pistol on us I think it's probably gonna be better military boots leather duster I don't know if we'll need the duster probably take that tomorrow we'll bust out of here first thing in the morning and go get some shiz done gonna have to make some armor probably do that in the middle of the night um do we have enough let's just do wheel here what do we need what are we missing we got enough to make one wheel let's make a wheel uh so we'll do this two of these Right, and we need two forged iron. Let's just leave that down here for now. Let's get that wheel going. We can't because we don't have the ability to do it yet. But we will have here in a second. Grease monkey, bye. Got lots of points. Hammer and forge, bye. Um, what else we want here? Hidden strike, yes please. Strength, do we have enough for more sk skulk or a skull crusher? Yes please, nice. Combat is going up, excellent wheel craft all right guys i'm going to end the episode here i hope you enjoyed it if you did drop a like if you haven't subscribed please feel free to subscribe i'm sorry it's so dark in here but i'll have to get a helmet to get that helmet light on um do we have i don't i thought we had a uh, i guess not football helmet but i guess not sorry it's been a few days since i recorded um yeah i guess we don't well that's fine we'll have to look for that tomorrow all right, so we're going to end the episode here. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. And you can drop any comments in the, or whatever in the comment section down below. And until next time, we'll see you later.